I swear, the second that I start filming, leaf blower men just hear me click the button, and then they grab their leaf blowers and rush out to get rid of the leaves and ruin my video. Yo yo, it's Echo. In the last video that I uploaded, I was talking about how I have realized more fully that I am going to die someday. And I've also realized how incredibly important my body is to my survival. I'm not going to live forever. And sure enough, because life is just made of irony, I ended up in the hospital a few days ago. I'm in the hospital. I missed one of my favorite holidays because my body is stupid. I went to my younger sister's place to eat dinner and then right after we finished, I started getting these horrible, horrible stomach pains. So I just balled up into a corner. And then of course, because that's not normal human behavior, my younger sister was very concerned. Do you want to go to the hospital? No, it's just pain. I kind of feel like you should go to the hospital. I can handle it. I got this. Are you sure you don't maybe want to go to the hospital? It's all good. I got this. I am totally fine. I'm so fine. You don't even know. I'm just saying the hospital is an option that we have. I'm totally fine. It's not even that much pain. You know what's a good place to be when you're in pain? A hospital. Pain is livable. Did you know there's like seven hospitals just in this area? I don't need a doctor. Doctors are for... Quitters. You know, I hear famous people go to hospitals sometimes. We don't talk about it anymore. It kind of hurts to breathe. You're going to a hospital. And as if going to the hospital wasn't bad enough, there was a broken clock hanging on the wall of my hospital room. I can't help but feel like that's a bad omen. It's like the universe just ran out of time as soon as I got there. Oh, no time for you. I wanted some time. Darn, we're fresh out. Sorry about that. They gave me an IV, and once it was in my arm, I found myself doing this weird Barbie thing because bending my arm just felt too unnatural. I was told that the thing in my arm was a flexible plastic and bending it wouldn't do anything, but still. No other species on the planet does this. I like my organs. I would like to keep all of them if possible. It also felt kind of ironic because the newest episode of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared just came out, and it's all about being healthy, which apparently I'm not. To be completely honest, it feels kind of weird making a video about this, but I'm putting my life on the internet, and this is kind of a big thing in my life right now. When I got there, they gave me some medicine for the pain, and it made me realize that pain medicine scares me. Because when you're in pain and you take something to make you stop feeling that pain, the cause doesn't go away. Whatever was going wrong with my insides was still happening, even though I couldn't feel it. My stomach could be digesting itself right now, and I would have no idea. That's terrifying. It would be like if there was a giant monster in your room ready to kill you at any point, and then someone just walks in and says, oh, I'm sorry, is the monster scaring you? I'll just turn off the lights until we can get rid of it. It's still there. It's still gonna get you. It's still gonna claw at your face with its monster claws, use your bones as toothpicks. Am I perpetuating monster stereotypes? Possibly. At the moment, the doctors have no idea what's wrong with me. There's a good chance it's not life-threatening, though. I'm scheduled to have three different medical tests taken, and then hopefully they will figure out what's wrong with me, and we'll all fix it together. But mostly them. I'll just probably be laying there like a gutted fish. One good thing that happened while I was there, aside from all of the amazing modern medicine, was that the clock actually started working again before I left. I guess the universe had some time left for me after all. Because that is how the universe works. Science! In case you haven't noticed, I've been reflecting on life a lot lately, so I've decided that I'm going to do a Q&A at some point in the near future. So if you have any questions about me or my life or this whole YouTube thing, or you want some general advice, then please leave it in the comment section below. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But yeah, I would really appreciate it. Otherwise, it's gonna be a horrible q and I'm probably not gonna I talk about all this weird doctor crap ever again, but if you're curious and you want to know what's going on with my health, I do tweet about it. Tweet, tweet, chirp, chirp, hospital stuff. Please like this video just in case it's the last one I ever get to make, or you can subscribe just in case it's not. Seriously though, thank you for being really awesome and watching this video all the way to the end. So, 50 awesome points. I feel like I should just make it 100 right now because there might not be a tomorrow. Life reflecting on stuff. 100 awesome points for you, my friend. Okay, later. Hey Echo, how many times did you check your hair while filming? Fucking fringe.